To begin my search, I'll enter my selected terms on the line labeled search. To add more terms to my search, I can click the plus icon to add another search line. For this tutorial, I will be searching for resources that highlight the pathophysiology of sickle cell anemia. On the first search line, I'll enter the phrase sickle cell anemia. Since I'm also searching for information related to the pathophysiology of the disease, I'll enter the term pathophysiology on the second search line that I just added. Next, I'll choose a field type for my search from the list. For example, if on the search line I had typed the name of a specific author, I would choose authors from the drop-down menu. The system's default setting is article title, abstract keywords. For my example, I'll leave it on the default setting for both our terms. Since I'm using both text boxes, I need to select a Boolean operator. The options are AND, OR, AND NOT. So I would select the appropriate one from the drop-down list between the two search lines. Since I'm looking for information on sickle cell anemia and pathophysiology, I'm going to leave it as AND. AND is the default Boolean operator for Scopus, so I don't need to change anything. Before submitting my search, I also have the option of imposing further limits to the search. To see what those options are, I'm going to click here. In the area labeled date range, I can select a range that will narrow my results. So for example, for this search, I could just search for articles from the last five years. I can also choose a document type. Uh, since I'm looking for all document types, I'm going to leave it as all, which is the default option. I can also limit to only open access articles, but for this search, I want to find all, so I'm going to leave the default option. Now I'll go ahead and click search. The results page indicates that there are 2,551 documents that match my query. Uh, as you can see, the major fields displayed on the results page are document title, authors, year, source, and cited by. I can sort my results by clicking on the sort on drop-down menu to the right above the results. The default is to sort them chronologically, with the newest being first. There are additional options for narrowing my, my results. These options are featured in the window to the left of the results. So for instance, I have the option of limiting to year, author name, document type, uh, source title, etc. The number next to each one indicates the number of results that would be left if I chose that limit. So once I select a limit, let's say in this case 2018, I would then select either limit to or exclude. If I select limit to, it means I will only get results from 2018. If I press exclude, I will get all results except those from 2018. To get access to an article, I would click on the full text at Himmelfarb link if available. So for instance, on the second article here, I can see a full text at Himmelfarb link. However, if there is only a find it at Himmelfarb link, as for instance in the third uh, article here, I can click that to see what options are available for me to get access to the article, and that may include things like interlibrary loan. One of the unique features of Scopus is the ability to identify related articles by tracking citations. So if I look uh, down the list of articles, for example the second article, under the cited by column I see the number one. So if I click on that one, I would see a more recent article which cited this initial article. In order to export results to RefWorks or another bibliographic management program, I'll first need to select the articles that I want to keep. So I would do that. Let's say I want to move over these first two articles. The next step after I've selected my articles is to press export. On the subsequent page, first I select the method of export, so I'll say RefWorks, and then I'm going to select which pieces of information I want to have exported. So I would choose these, for example. 
The next step would be to press export. Uh, then I would be prompted to open my RefWorks account and the citations would automatically be moved over into my RefWorks account.